guys welcome back to Patrick's Basics and today we'll be learning how to make your own rocket controller so here we go first step to make one of these is make a frame for it I what I used for this was pretty much some um, painting sticks I cut them up to right size and I created a box for them at the bottom I used just a cardboard bottom and at the top I also used a piece of cardboard so after that I got some pieces of from old battery uh, container cartridge areas I guess you could say I took out their metal pieces if you can see in there their metal pieces for the batteries to go in or a pack of batteries to go in I did that as so and with that I soldered on a wire from the one uh, pos from the positive end of the batteries and the, bl the black wire in from the negative end after that, I wired the wire from the positive positive end all the way in to the on-off switch to arm it. From here, I used a piece of snap circuits, but you can, if you have a switch at home, you can use that too. I soldered that in, and then it would go through that. If the switch is on, the power would keep on going. To here, I soldered just this random piece of metal I found that is conductive onto here, so the electricity would keep going, but you can also use a wire instead. Into the fire button, which is this button, also a snap circuit that I can click and it'll fire the rocket by letting through the 11 volts of electricity. After that I soldered in a wire to lead all the way to this big coil of wires where I have these alligator teeth to hold on to the um, starter plug or not starter plug but I think the part that lights up the engine and yeah batteries I just used AAA and put them in order so these are all going straight over to the positive and then here we have them connected over here this is them all going over here to negative and then up again from over here coming all the way down to this area plus all the batteries just to make just to uh, save them and I don't have to use a bunch these are all already used, pre-used batteries that are about 1.3 volts instead of like the regular 1.5, 1.3, 1.2. I use those in here. Just, you know, a bit of reusing project. Finally after that, I glued everything, or I put everything on our frame, put on this cardboard top, glue, would glue it on, and here is, would be our arm. We'll go ahead, turn it on, and then when we're ready to fire, we can go ahead, click our fire button and a rocket will shoot off in the sky so there you go guys that that is how to make an easy rocket control launcher for your model rocket i hope if, if you guys like this video please like it subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss out on a new video and i'll see you guys next time bye